talking today about um, the healthy walk, the healthy hunts for walk that we did over the past three months, and all the response that we had, all the people who came out and were part of it and made that made it a success. We had 1,100 walkers participate in the Healthy Huntsville Mayor's Challenge. 38% of the walkers met or exceeded their 100-mile goal, and I would bet a lot of others were in there but didn't fill out the rest of their uh, paperwork. And we started this challenge in late, late August and ended in November 30th. Uh, department heads host, hosted walks throughout the 100 days, and many of them were very creative. Animal services uh, dressed up pets for Halloween, and we did a walk then uh, down in the South Huntsville Dog Park. Uh, we hit the Lucky Duck Trail downtown area. Planning traffic engineering took us for a walk along Holmes Avenue, 2.2 miles from Holmes Avenue down to uh, WHNT. A number of companies promoted walks, and Overall, I think there were 40, over 40 events where people could walk, and could enjoy, and could have a good time, and just do a little bit of something to stay healthy. Uh, we had 20 teams enter, enter the 2015 competition, and the top five performers this year in numbers of participants and miles logged are, just like last year, number one is Williams Middle School. And here, here's Coach Robbins, Coach Winston, and Coach Shea from, uh, from Williams Middle School. They had 511 walkers, 100 met their goal, and of course they let one last year in the 25 mile challenge. And I'd like to give y'all a coin from the city and thank you for participating so much in this. And they had some very active walkers when we walked, weren't they? Yeah. Very active. Good. Uh, number two was Colsa, who had 95 walkers. 81 met their goal. Number three was Army Material Command, who had 48 walkers. 28 met their goal. Number four was Huntsville Alumni Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. 40 walkers. 20 met their goal. Uh, number five was Barrett on the Mountain. They had 27 walkers. I didn't know they had 27 employees. But they had 27 walkers, and 23 met their goal. And the, uh, the top, uh, following the top five teams are number six, WHNT, number seven, Marabou Apartments, number eight, uh, Huntsville City Schools. Congratulations, Rena. <laughs> number nine, City of Huntsville, and tied for number 10 was Clearview Cancer Center and Huntsville Housing Authorities. And some other numbers of note, 417 walkers met or exceeded their 100-year goal their 100 mile goal. 28 walkers logged at least 90 miles but just missed the goal. And three walkers and runners logged more than 1,000 miles. That was 1,369 miles were logged by David Marshall at Colsa, 1,159 miles by Rachel O'Rear at PPT Solutions, and 1,087 miles by Mark Allen at Colsa. So the Colsa people are running people and walking people. Uh, and Gary Abernathy is here from Blue Cross Blue Shield. They donated 10 Fitbits as door prizes. And, um, and then we drew winning names from the list of names of those who completed the challenge. The winners of the Fitbit are, Gary, do you want to announce these? If you will read these for us so we can announce our winners of the Fitbit. Be glad to. Thank you, Mayor. We've got Fitbit winners. Terry Bramlett, Huntsville Botanical Gardens. Amelia King, Bird on the Mountain. Alex Jones, Williams Middle School. Denise uh, Swain is an individual walker, not on a, on a particular team. Elijah Nwuhu, um, sorry about that. Williams Middle School, Amy English, City of Huntsville. Uh, Michael Morris, Colsa. Uh, Sherry Chanel is Huntsville alumni chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta. Craig Tersigny, Colsa and Cricket Baker, Colsa. So congratulations to all those folks. <laughs> and Gary, we appreciate the partnership with the Blue Cross Blue Shield, and we appreciate y'all being partners too. You know, what matters most is just doing something, doing something to stay healthy, to do something that uh, keeps you active, keeps you fit, and it's a preventative thing. If you're healthier, you're more productive at work, you're more productive at home, uh, you just have a better life. So we want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to our partners who have been in this, to Huntsville Hospital, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Hudson Alpha, and, and others. And let me just remind you, walking is free. 
and it's easy. Just keep it up during the holidays and uh, we'll be in shape for Alabama Scale Back, which is coming in February. And, no, which begins in January. And uh, don't, don't try to beef up so that you can win Alabama Scale Back. That's one of the keys. Let's make sure we go into Alabama Scale Back with our uh, ready to go. And again, the mayor will have a team and I have some real ringers on this year's team. So uh, we'll have a great time. Thank you very much.